Hi everyone and welcome back to uh, another Metroid 2 remake. I, I still feel weird saying that another Metroid 2 remake. Was there one before this? Hmm. I never saw it if that's the case. Yeah, yeah, music team and let's continue. Gotta find three Metroids and then we can proceed with the next area. Um, I've been thinking, maybe the reason why I don't remember there being that many Metroids to destroy in the original Metroid 2 is because I forgot about the extra nine that you have to destroy once you reach a certain part near the end. I think it's nine, maybe eight, whatever the case. I know that there's some extra surprise Metroids to destroy just before you reach the final boss. Um, I'm a little curious. I want to search this area right over here a little more. Because <sighs> I want to go up there. It's going to be a little difficult. Oh, actually, I have bombs now. That means I can probably... Yeah. Infinite bomb jump. Just like Zero Mission. My favorite kind. But once I'm high enough, I'm just going to latch to the wall, honestly. Right. Over. Well, I'm just gonna. <laughs> yeah, right here. Anything? Anything somewhere? There should be a secret. Uh, yeah, if you get hit by one of your own bombs while using the spider ball, uh, Samus is gonna lose her spider ball, spider ball effect. Ah, careful. You can always reactivate it, but uh, you might screw up and fall anyway. So be careful. Literally bombing every single tile because you never know. Up! Oh, oh no! Uh, well, I've checked enough. We'll go go back to this place once we have the screw attack or something. No, rather the space jump. The screw attack is useful, but space jump is more useful. Oh, I uh, forgot to mention. So, people have uh, spoken about uh, how long these videos should be. I heard someone say 15 to 20 minutes and. 20 minutes is the best length and someone else said half an hour is good so I'm gonna aim for 20 minutes but occasionally some episodes might last extra long and into like 25 or even 30 minutes but the aim is 20 minutes per episode however it's it's all about pacing you want to get lots of stuff done regardless also every time you see something like this that means there's a Metroid nearby we're, right now we're fighting the Alpha Metroids, but eventually we're going to meet uh, the stronger types, like the Beta, the Zeta, and Gamma, and Omega. Oh, and uh, the final boss is of course even stronger than that, but if you've played RM, you already know which one it is. Then again, you if you played Fusion, you already know about all the Metroid types. You fought the Omega Metroid at some point, and there's a graphic that shows the, the evolutions about them. Anything up here? Yeah, it was just a secret passage, apparently. Would have helped me a lot. Uh, I don't know why, but I feel there should be an... <laughs> it's it's probably a bit sacrilegious for me to say this to some people, but I feel there should be auto wall jumping for some reason. Even though, technically speaking, there shouldn't be no wall jumping whatsoever. Because in Metroid 2, wall jumping did not exist. Scan environment, it's... Yeah, see, this is the problem. It doesn't say. Oh, and now that I think about it... I've been backtracking already. See, we saw a Metroid shell uh, a while ago, so there should be a Metroid in this area, right? Hmm. Maybe I'm overthinking this. It's probably just right over here, anyway. Where are you, Metroid? I need to destroy you! Those things down there will probably hurt me, by the way. Just saying that right now. Yeah, here we go. Ah. A thick outer shell! That's what you have. Oh, come on! You have smart ass AI, don't you? Ah, uh, err. I could really use a lot more health right now, actually. <laughs> use an energy tank. If this was a game actually made by Nintendo, I would have already gotten one. Oh, uh, it actually drains my health, that stuff down there. Oh, ugh, jeez. That one was a tough one. Thanks for all the extra health, but jeez. I guess I'm just a bit rusty. 
because I was not doing that all that well. Nothing here whatsoever. Yeah, that's kind of weird how that stuff down there drains their health, but I seem to recall something similar in the original. But in the original it was black and white, so you couldn't quite tell what <laughs> it was in the first place. Now we can clearly see that those are vines and it feels extremely strange that it drains their health. Don't want to fall down here. Oh, damn. Ugh, I have to conserve my health. Hmm. I should go back to the save point. Play it safe. I keep forgetting that I have the charge shot. <laughs> I haven't even tested on the Metroids yet. See if it works or something. Yeah, I should use the Morph Ball button more often. It's actually quite convenient. Uh, except not really. It'd be really convenient if you, if you, when you press the button, you immediately start running again without losing your momentum. But alas, it's just a shortcut, a convenient shortcut. Where are you, Metroid? Are you a Gamma, or rather a Beta? No, just another Alpha. Here, come on. Ah, ugh. these guys. Ah, ugh. come on. Die. Oh, you, you are dodging. Smart ass. Let's try the charge shot. You don't dodge my move. Ah, eh. Doesn't seem to be working. No, it doesn't work at all. Okay. That's all I needed to know. Oh, you. S Come on. It really is dodging. That's quite impressive. Yeah, but not impressive enough. Ugh. Normal is harder than I expected. If this was hard, I would be dead by now. But I would probably get used to the game anyway, eventually. I, I am considering playing hard mode after uh, normal, by the way. What do you guys think? W would that be uh, a good idea? I'd make a non-commentary too, because considering this playthrough is for all of the commentary stuff. Uh, hmm. I'll probably die if I try to face another Metroid, so back to the safe point. Well, again, a room like this, I'm kind of getting tired of it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, come on. Uh, come on. Oh, jeez. I have such poor aim. Yeah, this is more like it. This is how, what I want to do, except these Metroids know how to adjust themselves. I think their AI is kind of too smart, to be honest. It's so strange to face such smart creatures for a game that's supposed to be so simple. I'm not gonna lose, come on. Yeah, almost lost, jeez. But as I mentioned before, if this was really a game made by Nintendo, they would have given me an energy tank by now. Or at least I would have found one by now. <laughs> I, I, I did find one, but I don't know how to reach it. Anyway, I defeated all the Metroids, so now I'm supposed to go down to where that blue uh, spot without the outline is. By the way, I used to emulate Zero Mission, but the controls are so bad on a keyboard that I eventually just bought the game on a Game Boy Advance, because it's much better played that way. It's the same thing for this game. You can't play it on the keyboard, but you're much better off using the controller. Any sort of controller. Just to, it just needs to be able to connect to a USB. That's all it needs to be able to do and you can play. I personally recommend the Xbox 360 controller, but well, that's just me. I don't know about the quality of that controller. All I know is that it works and it's fairly easy to get. Uh, what now? Um, missiles. Okay, so it's a test. I thought the, the spikes would uh, <laughs> go, like, follow me, but they don't. Uh, except they do! <laughs> oh, never mind. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's how you dodge that. Blue is that. Blue is that, yeah. Okay, I just have to watch the eyes. Yeah, green is that. Yellow is that. Okay. Uh, ah! I'm gonna die! I can also shoot like this. I'm out of space! 
Ugh, okay, so that was probably preset to work that way, but that was intense. I kind of like it. Okay, need to go up there. Infinite Bob Jump Go! Uh, that was kind of inconvenient. I should probably use the spider ball. Like this. Have to be careful, those spikes probably hurt a lot more than the ones from earlier. Oop, this is a little convenient. Oh, there's a uh, missiles. Well, missiles are already always good. Ah, eh. Like, there's more buttons involved here than the uh, original Super Metroid. That's something else. Anyway, that was just missiles. But to open this, you need power bombs. And I don't have those with me, unfortunately. At least I know about a new passage. I am liking the new areas, for what it's worth. Um, yeah, we'll just move on as if nothing happened. <laughs> no, don't forget, this is supposed to make, make what Zero Mission did for the original Metroid, so there's definitely going to be some new stuff, especially Chozo stuff, because the Chozo are everywhere in the galaxy. But some people probably didn't exactly agree with changes like this. They just wanted Metroid 2 just with, like, uh, updated graphics and controls or something. But then, then it wouldn't be very good, because... Personally, I think Metroid 2 is a little underestimated. It's not a bad game, but I can see how some people just can't like it. If, if it was up to me, I would have let's play the Metroid 2. But didn't really have the time to do that. And I'm supposed to be LP in different games right now. In case some of you were wondering, I am trying to go and latch onto the ceiling. Yes, but I, I won't bother because I'm not doing it well. Well, it's supposed to go down here. Oh, um, actually, someone wanted to know if I you could wall jump back at uh, your base. I guess I'll go do that, just to see. Yeah, right here. This is where you wanted me to wall jump, right? Well, I'll just use the spider ball, because then I have it. It's much slower this way, but... I do, if I do recall, you could do this in the original Metroid 2. And it just stops you right up there, because <laughs> the atmosphere, you know? You couldn't wall jump, but you could use the spider ball. So you could pretty much go everywhere you wanted, but clearly you were not intent to go up there. However, you are technically able to go through here. Even though the game is expects you to go from the other direction. That's going to come up much later, however. Near the end of the game. Actually, that makes me wonder. There's not going to be a... Pl no, there's definitely not going to be a planet explosion, but... Hopefully there's not going to be any timers involved in this remake, because I mean, that's, uh, that's something that was not in the original. But I, I could see it being implemented anyway. Oh no, now I'm over here. Trapped forever. And there's nothing here. Ah, here we go. This kind of stuff, you can't destroy yourself. Ever. You're gonna need a, a different creature to be able to get rid of that stuff for some reason. Okay. I've checked everywhere. There are no power-ups, as far as I know. I'm kind of disappointed I haven't found any secrets yet, but... Uh, at the same time, I'm still uh, having fun trying to search for them. And this is like, this is supposed to be uh, like Metroid 2, so technically speaking, there shouldn't be any secrets. At least not here, anyway. These things at the ceiling really creep me out. Ugh. Uh, I think I have to bomb the place. <laughs> Try to go down there, but need to find the appropriate spot to enter through. Ah, oh, here we go. Let's move on with the adventure. Or these disgusting things. Hopefully, some missile tanks soon. And some stuff right here. Let's see what's in you. Hmm. Power up somewhere because you can see it on the mini map. 
<laughs> yeah, actually, that's that's true. I forgot to consider that. The map is gonna spoil where the power-ups are, but it won't spoil the uh, secret passages, so... Well, for the most part, it won't spoil secret passages, so... Yeah. Anyway, I, I, I would say that the secret is somewhere up here, maybe? Hmm. Maybe. What the hell? How am I supposed to do this? Pretty quick. Those spikes exist to prevent you from just uh, using spider ball, by the way. This is a room where you're supposed to use your talents as a bounty hunter to be able to reach the power up. Huh. Oh my goodness, seriously? That's gonna be way difficult. Ugh. Come on. Contrary to many people, I personally consider the wall jumping in the Super Metroid to be much easier than Zero Mission. Or Fusion, I guess. <laughs> in Fusion, it was really limited. You couldn't wall jump on the wall you jumped from. Of course, that makes logical sense, but people love their sequence breaking, so you can wall jump on the wall you jumped from. <sighs> Am I supposed to do it from this direction? Uh, whatever, I'll just use infinite bomb jumps. Yeah, it's just a tank. But there's something else somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, this is how you're supposed to do it. Or one of the ways you can do it. <sighs> but there's another power-up somewhere. Ah, right here. Okay, cool. Got two tanks. As far as I know, that's all there is in this place. The game could pull a fast one on us and have another power-up somewhere, but two tanks is all I got, so that's all I'm gonna stick with. Let's move on. What I really want, though, is a, an energy tank. Actually, in the original, there was only like seven energy tanks, right? Hmm. I wonder if the remake is going to match the amount of damage tanks, too. Well, actually, I think it was maximum of six, but there's eight. Maybe? Because I know that uh, there weren't that many energy tanks, but... Uh, I know you could get, like, more than the maximum. But, you know, the maximum was still the maximum, so getting another energy tank after having the maximum would not only refill your health, it would actually add to your maximum. Maximum, maximum, maximum. There was no maximum of missiles, if I recall, however. This place just keeps going, but, you know, they want to show you where the lava is. Seven Metroids. Is there one right over here? Just need to latch onto this thing. Actually, I probably need the high jump. But who needs the high jump when you've got this? Yeah, this is solid. Or it was solid. Never mind. <laughs> Ow. Stop touching the spike, Samus. So these things aren't solid either, huh? That's so lame. Ah, I was trying to use the spider ball. I'm gonna try to use it again. It's inconvenient. Yeah, you definitely need the high jump for this place. But screw the high jump! I'm getting early expansions. Hmm, actually, now that I think about it, it doesn't seem like this is exactly the same way uh, Infinite Bomb Jump works in Zero Mission. Because in Zero Mission, when you move uh, to, a so to, yeah, to the side, while well, infinite jump bomb jumping, you just need to hold the other direction to do it infinitely without uh, having to adjust yourself. But here, if you do that, you're just gonna get screwed, screwed over. Yeah, here we go. Perfect. Give me more missiles. Yay! So great. What's down here? Spikes. <laughs> no special passages. No, nothing. Ow. 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 Doing things the raw way. Hopefully there's gonna be a, a save point soon, because I need one. Oh, actually I'm supposed to go down there, that's right. Yeah, there should be a save point after this room, and that, that'll be it for this episode, actually. I haven't really accomplished that much, but, well, we managed to defeat some Metroids at the beginning. You can also use 
well, you can usually use these things right down here to restore your health, but I guess they're empty right now. Oh, what? Not now! Oh, not now. Well, the area is fairly simple. It's not like those other areas were. Uh, there was stuff everywhere. Come on. Can't catch me if you. Oh, you can! Bastard. Smart ass. Ugh. I need that health. I will give the game that that was a great surprise, having a Metroid pop out of nowhere. Particularly when you're not ready for it, potentially. But still. Still. Where is the save point? And what is that thing? It's not a Metroid, that's for sure. Moves in a goofy way. I don't remember an enemy moving that way in the original Metroid 2. What? It's broken? Uh, what the hell? <laughs>